Song is cool, but he digs like a bitch. He scooped up like a few rocks in that one clip. I'm saying it's hard. You know, like the ground was weird. Like, it's just for the video. Like, if I was making a real hole, I'm gonna make a video like Young Mean digging a hole to see how I really dig a hole. I'm good at that. Frank Ocean called me when I was in Stockholm, when I was like 17. I was buying drugs in on a subway station and Frank Ocean called me and I was very, very surprised. He was like, hello, young lean. Do you know who this is? Like, no, who's this? Frank Ocean. I would love to have you come over to London and record with me. I'm like, shit. And he's a super nice guy. Very friendly character. We had dinner. We had Indian spicy dinner and watched the, the Dictator. And you know, whenever they reached out and they were like, "You're doing your thing, keep going, little B, whatever," it makes you so happy. So I'm happy I got to inspire because I've been inspired by so many good people before me. And uh, I don't think I'm underrated. No, I think uh, it's rare, you know, to see how many like big artists. Uh, fuck with my shit. All of a sudden you get DMs from all types of artists that are way bigger than I am, but came out years after me. And you know, they always salute. So I salute back, you know. I don't think I'm an underdog. And I've had, I've, you know, I'm not even at my prime yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't put rules on anything. Don't get lost in the sauce. You just gotta, don't let it get to your head. Just think of it as a job. Jag har ett eget företag, men mm. jag vet fortfarande inte riktigt vad det är. Mm. Även så här, jag vet att man kan ge avdrag, jag vet att det är... Ja, man kan ju typ om du skulle ta en kaffe med Adrian Lux eller Avicii. Mm. Eller Martha Wainwright. Mm. Då kan du ju dra av det kaffet på företagskortet. Nice. Så det är bara lite lättare liksom. Fett. Nice. Så där du ta alltså, fett många kaffe med Adrian Lux. Ja, sjukt. Det är ju den sum. Please explain, what's going on here? Graffiti in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Nardwar. Yeah, this is me writing in Vietnam when I was in grade seven and eight. And were you worried that you were gonna get caught? We used to just paint on it like every day and they just, they wouldn't care anymore. I'm 86 years old and uh, I'm in the bathtub with two crocodiles. They're like pet crocodiles, because real crocodiles have gone extinct. So they're like small and pink, and they're crawling all over me. I'm drinking nice Moroccan coffee, and I'm listening to old Chief Keef demos, and just like beautiful women everywhere, exotic pets. And I don't know, I go down and check the mail. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Only this guy could name a song Afghanistan and talk about Kush. Actually, Kush only comes from Afghanistan. So get your fucking facts straight, how to get in here. Popping pills like sits, what's on one vomits on your mosquito tits. <laughs> Please explain that line to the people. Uh, popping pills like sits, it's like you pop pills like they were sits. Uh, while someone vomits on your mosquito uh, tits. It's like uh, lyrics, I think I wrote that Ginseng Strip when I was like 15. The way I write, it's like a mixture between a bit of real life and then just weird stuff. Like I like Swedish pop and like Scandinavian pop. I don't know, I hate, I mean, there's not much rap from Scandinavia that I like. All like Scandinavian, like big rappers are old and boring. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they just rap about where they're from. It just, it just doesn't speak to me. Physically, like, I'm fine. Psychologically, like, just tired. Yeah, I read, I write, I record, watch a lot of cartoons. Try and paint too, but I suck at it. I fuck with my fans hard. But yeah, it's not what I do for, I do for me. I need to get these thoughts out of my head. I'd be doing this if there was no one on my show. <laughs> it's just my way of existing, I guess. When you make music for a long time, you realize it's just, it's just about capturing like the essence of the room and, and the time. And if it's a sad time or if it's those feelings, you know, then you have to bring that out. But it's a lot of sophisticated people that write articles and they sound very smart, but I don't think there's much 
you know, they're, they're thinking too much. It's just music. While Lean has found success with major music collaborations, he still appreciates his spot as a rap outsider, a place he likes to reside. I kind of like it. You don't have too many <laughs> expectations to join the big, you know, circle of friends that is the industry, and you don't have to do anything for someone else. And if someone like really fucks with you, like Fredo Santana or Frank Ocean, you know, they would reach out and they'll be like, "All right, let's make music. That's fine with me because that's the people I like to work with." Sometimes I feel like the fool, you know, standing on stage, talking about myself, like what gave me the right to do this, but. We all just play a part in our in life, and I think we played these parts forever, basically. My granddad and grandma, 